Oh my god! That's a big one. That's a big one. That's the one we wanted. Oh, that's the one we wanted. G'day everybody and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. We're up early this morning, we're parked by the river, we're doing some exploring. We're at a section of river that I haven't fished before, so I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. We're chasing topwater cod. The plan is to go upstream, um, yeah, and I don't know what's around the bend. So I had a bit of a look at the water last night. Looks pretty good, um, so you just never know what might happen. I can hear the kookaburra singing. It's supposed to be a big storm this afternoon, so I wonder if that will um, kick the fish into gear. But let's find out. So once we get a little bit of light, we'll get out there and we'll head up the river. Still pretty dark at the moment though. Definitely my favourite time to surface lure in the morning. It's a very easy way to gauge the depth. Just by sticking the paddle in the water. And it's what's so good about exploring new water is really make sure to think about the fundamentals and with cod in these rivers particularly you're looking for structure so it doesn't matter where you go if you don't even know the water you just look for structure work your lure through that and usually that's where you find the fish Oh my god, as soon as it landed, uh, as soon as it landed, I didn't even move it, and I ate it, oh, that was sick, right up in that pocket, oh, so sick, hey buddy, how you going, oh, that was awesome, amazing that it just heard it land, right there and he demolished it that was awesome how you going dude yep I got him got him well how's that for a start just boofed the hunchback as it was sitting there as soon as it landed He's a beautiful fish. Pull him right through the bottom lip. Yeah! Right up in that pocket. He was just waiting for it. Right up in there. One thing about surface lures is if they get snagged, you cannot get them off.
Oh my god! That's a big one. That's a big one. That's the one we wanted. Oh, that's the one we wanted. Beautiful log right in the middle, all on its own. Oh, wow. Yeah. What a take that was. Oh. <laughs> it's awesome. I've been waiting, waiting for something to happen. In you come, buddy. That's a really nice fish. It's a really nice fish. Oh, I'm just going to hop in. That's the one I wanted. He is an absolute belter. Check him out. Yeah. That's the one I wanted. What a stunning fish. Absolute stunning fish. Yep. So I'm doing my drag. Yeah, you're a cracker. Absolute cracker. Come here, open your mouth. He's only hooked by one hook. He is an absolute chunk. Chunk of a cod on the hunchback. Oh, so sick. It shows you why you gotta have sharp hooks because he's only pinned by one. Absolute magic, magic. Check out that. Absolute belter on the hunchback in the clear water. So cool. All right, we'll get him back. Let me just grab that. Get out of there, thank you. I reckon he was ready. So I would have been throwing ever reliable blister hunchback. This is in the cormorant colour um, and I'm throwing that on a TT black adder six foot six. 8 to 15 kilo rod which is my absolute favorite for this type of fishing um, and I've matched it to a Komodo 273 and that's loaded with 30 pound platypus um, x4 pulse braid beautiful braid for this style of fishing and then I'm running a 60 pound hard armor tough leader via an FG knot super stoked with that fish that was the one that I was after I don't mind waiting for a bite when it's a good one. Those sticky, sharp, fine hooks are so important because that fish is only hooked by one. But I've managed to get both bites this morning, which is good. Got him, got him. Ah, I could see that log under the water there. Yeah, hey, go on, buddy. You're a beautiful fish. Such cool patterns on that one. Hey, go on, you get angry. I reckon you're really angry. I do not want to destroy my thumb because that's exactly what will happen. I 
opinion now. Got him. What a beautiful fish. Check out the markings on him. Smash the hunchback. Get that out of here. One in the side of the head and one in the side of the gub. He out of here. Well, it is definitely getting stormy. I'm amazed we've gone three from three. Good odds. I like it. Missed him right in the zone. Oh. It's just that pile of stuff and then a little calm pocket in front of it. He was in there. Ooh, got it back in there. Got him that time. Yeah. Oh, that was sick. I love it when they come back. Now, feels like a good fish. Don't you drag me in there. Don't you drag me in there. Oh, it feels like a nice one. <laughs> he's pulling me in. <laughs> How you going, dude? Oh, yeah, he's a nice fish. Jeez, dude, you were pulling me into the snag. Strong. I think he's hooked in the top of the head, that's why. Love it. Love it when they come back. In that beautiful pocket. It's nothing quite like the colours on the clear water cods. Alright, get the glove on. Love it when they come back. What an awesome fish. Cute. He's out of here. Oh my god! Oh. Wow! That was a bite. <laughs> just a little fish, but such a cool bite. Jeez, did he just detonate on it? <laughs> oh man, you are one angry little guy. Yeah. Just absolutely shotgunned it. I actually twist, twitched it through there a couple of times. He's so angry for it, dude. Didn't miss either. <laughs> that was sick. Whenever you see a bit like that, you just know something's going to go down. I find it amazing sometimes, the surface wearing. Like, the morning period, we got that one, but it was pretty slow. And it's 9 o'clock now, and we've had more bites later than earlier.
What a humdinger of a snag that one is. Sounded like a good one. Sounded like a good one. Come on, come back. Cast is good. Oh, I got him. Uh, oh, he's got me. He's still on there. Uh, he's underneath the log though. Uh, is he still on there? Uh, oh, come out of there. Come on, out you came. Is he still on there? Yeah, he's still on there. He's a nice fish too. Wow, you're right behind the log. Am I going to be able to get you out of there? Come on. Out you come. Oh, he's so stuck. I can see him. Out you come. Yeah, I got him out. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's a nice one. Yeah. Oh, I love when they come back like that. <laughs> what a sensational fish. Geez, dude, you had me right in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. That's a really nice one. Really nice one. Best snag on the bend. Had to be one there. Just smash the hunchback. So stoked. Now you can go right back into your log. That was a nice fish. Well, that is it. We are back down at the van. Super cool to explore some new water. There is so much to do. You can always go to the same spots and catch the same fish, but it's so nice to explore new waters. Sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't, but this morning was really cool. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you all next time.